two, one. My fellow star bros and brodettes, or whatever you, however you do that with genders, um, whatever genders may be, we're gonna have in the bottom left corner of Desert Tech, Terred Bandit from Bestest Friends. And in the top left corner on the same map, it is his opponent, Franz Kjar. Well, he's from UK, so it's probably just Franz Kjar. Or Franz Kjar. Uh, Franz Kjar is going to play on the top left. We're going to have a Protoss versus Zerg. It's kind of interesting because the Red Bandit is... Um, Actually, Zerg is a main race, but he plays all the races at the moment. Uh, he's actually been really helpful in development lately. He's not a part of the actual development team, but he just he, he just develops on his own, and then he contacts me about stuff, and I contact him about stuff. So it's, he kind of feels like a part of the development team, but he doesn't want the commitment, I think. He just wants to be able to just take long breaks from development whenever he can. And that just works perfectly for, for everyone, I think. Uh... Okay, apparently, <laughs> just realized, uh, this is not necessarily the game he wanted me to cast, but I'm going to cast this one anyway, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully it's a good one. We'll see. Because it might not be, like, we'll see. It might be one of those horrible games that Artosis would have on his King of the Hill. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so Bandit's going to go for a Nexus on 12. This is very standard. It's going to go for, yeah, this is the same thing that Botsar did. He died horribly to a crazy build. Oh, oh, it was scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Scrumbled? It was scrambled eggs. <laughs> Them scrambled eggs. Oh, oh, did you want to put your probe outside? Is that, is that a point? And then you want to go... Yeah, I guess, I guess that was right. I guess so. So we got a lot of slow overlords just chilling. Just, just, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he knows he's not down there, so they're both going to be heading down this right direction. Franscar with the double overlord scouting. Pretty good. What is happening to Twitch? Why can't I see like the viewer count anymore? It's just blank. Oh, there we go. Twitch is just randomly updating stuff. We're gonna have the first cannon go down just to be safe. He hasn't found his opponent yet, has he? No, he has not. But his opponent knows where he is. It's a drone. He's gonna send a drone back home. It comes a couple of zerglings. They can nibble away at some stuff before they die. Or have to pull back. And Finn is alive! Hello, Finn. It's... More and more Craig Asms every time. Okay, so um, Bandit's gonna um, spawn Zolots on the outside. These four Zerglings can easily kill this Zolot if he just sends in these two first. I don't know why he's being so scared of. Um, maybe I'm completely wrong. Meanwhile, quick third base from Franscar. Um, later, gas. Going gas after the third base. One queen is out. Is he making a second one? No. See, I'm kind of curious how many queens are op optimal at this time. I think I think with, with the increased range on the inject. Just having one queen might just be fine, because two queens usually mean you're going to get a lot, of, a lot of extra energy that you might not need, and that's, not, that's a big investment, man. One queen is 150 minerals. If we if we do change queens to just being 100, uh, 100 minerals, I'm sure we'll see more two queens. Off of two base. Off of three base, at least. I like this, but like, he's moving out, and like he needs to take a break. Uh, he wants to wait for reinforcement or whatnot, and he's just... Okay, if I want to chill my Zelda somewhere, I should chill in this spawn. Because that's more safe. That's less surface area for my opponent's zerglings to surround. He's gonna get the. Oh, he needs to get the scout in though. He doesn't want to chase zerglings all over. He wants. To, okay, he's gonna try and get the probe in here too. He needs to get the scout off. He's gonna get it. Ooh, nice partless around there. And very nice around that zealot. And I mean, very nice position for some. Well, that's a little better position. But it did see the hydra then. Which is quite important until he should start adding on a couple more cannons. It's gonna be important. Um, oh, oh, sorry, I just need to do something real quick. Um, okay, cool. So, Cybercore coming. He hasn't made a Cybercore yet? I'm kind of surprised by this. I feel uh, I feel a lot of Protoss players go for that early aggression first and then they, they uh, delay the tech a lot. I, I don't know if it's good or not. I guess they're just focusing on just getting the, the probe count out first. I guess I'm just doing it wrong, maybe. Cybercore is up. Let's see if he's going to add the Stargate, or the Twilight, or both, or Robo, perhaps. That would be interesting. A reverse at this point. Oh, he's going for plus one air weapons. He's definitely going to add a Stargate somewhere. Okay, double Stargate. 
So, oh yeah, Ban is going to go for some airplay. I think I know what's going to happen this game. He's going to go for the quick pause one. It's going to be fairly safe versus anything. Uh, I wish he could send me the game he actually wanted to send me, though, but he's being very quiet on Skype. So yeah, this is definitely going to be heavy airplay from his opponent. He's going to go for the Twilight Council as well, though, so it's not complete airplay. But I'm, I'm guessing we're going to start off with the, with Corsairs, and I'm also guessing he's going to start going off with, with Scouts, actually, after a while, because there's some new strat that he's been working on versus Zerg that's kind of interesting, and also something that is very frustrating to play versus as a Zerg player. I know Franscar was kind of upset uh, last time the Red Bandit beat him with the strategy, just because he didn't feel it was correct. Starbo, he just felt it was bad, like, for the game. Game design was so gonna kill this Overseer. The Overseer's gonna see just what the Overseer was going to see. Good, good English, Cephas, good English. Temple Arca is really quickly completing. And he's adding on to game. Okay, so this is like a complete... Okay, so this is probably... And I'll take that back. This is probably not going to be... Oop, <laughs> that's gonna help our gateway. That's probably not gonna be, like, super mass airplay. Um... Because, um, because he's going for the fast plus one, I mean the fast legs, he's going for extra gateways, he's, and man, still, but, oh wow, that's a lot of, four quick uh, Corsairs with soon plus one, he's going to do so much damage to the, all the overlords. And I remember in Brood War, it was like very natural for a Zerg to go for a quick Spire, and a very quick, um, a quick spire and a very quick um, uh, scourges, and also quick overload speed to prevent this from happening. Uh, and it hasn't really been standard in Starbo yet, but you might see if 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 toss airplay becomes too strong, you might start seeing a shift there in the middle. But that's a lot of hydro, so he's gonna get one course. He gets two corsairs. He needs to be a little bit careful with his corsairs. He can make a lot of them, but he wants to be careful. Um, Lurker then already up, so he could start putting on a containment support, but there's a DT there, and that's just going to chase down everything, because there's no way there's going to be any of the series anytime soon. Oh, he's moving the DT back in, he doesn't have to do that, but I guess we're all on one hotkey, lazy Protoss. Anyhow, um, Corsairs, and lots of them, just still six Corsairs, doing a lot of damage, isn't that six? I can count! Counting with Xavius. So he's, where's that DT? I'm blind. There it is. Okay, he should send the DT down my field. Oh, not gonna type in the messages. So he's just killing so many overlords. Look at that. He's losing a couple of Corsairs, but he's killing a ton of overlords. Okay, but Franscar does have some lurkers now. That helps a lot. That even helps for the DTs because they do a lot of splash damage, and if the, if his opponent is careless. Oh, here we go, though. The Red Vance is gonna run in here. He's gonna kill overlords. He's gonna. Ooh, wow. This is kind of unfortunate for Franscar. He's just running past the defense. And I think Franscar's just. Falling apart here, he's, Red Band is really exploiting any hole he can find in the defense of Franscar. He's gonna kill a couple of zealots. Okay, that's nice. Where's that DT? He didn't just. Okay, there it is. Man, so many overlords have died in this game. He has been losing Corsairs as well, though. It hasn't been like a complete, like, blown in the face trade. Uh, but there's really no point even morphing this over here, I think. Well, there's not that many Corsairs left. There's only three. So I think I think Franscar is holding on now. And actually, interesting. In the meantime, the Red Banner has not expanded yet. There he finally goes. So. I wouldn't say he's that far behind. He's actually up on workers quite a bit. His his down on supply mostly be just because he's been supply stuck because he's quite high in the bank. So I think I think it should be fine. Hey, Elite Panda, good to see. You. There's a lot of subscribers here. It's so weird to see like people actually subscribing to this channel. I think that's really cool. I like, yeah. Doesn't mean I get it, or not really mean that Starbucks gets a ton of money. Necessarily, but it just—it's just so nice to see the support. Someone subscribing, saying that you know what—I'm gonna actually pay some money to the channel. It just warms my heart. Anyhow, 
Uh, Scourge is chasing away Corsairs. Oh, we're gonna have the push now from Transcar. Needs to bring tons of Overseers. There we go. It's not good enough, though. It's not enough Idolisks. Definitely not enough Idolisks. It's kind of poop up some changelings, just because why not. Uh, but there's more units. Uh, mostly Scourges. Oh, there's one Corsair. Can they find it? It's hidden from the view. It's a hidden Corsair in the darkness. It's gonna jump out and scare someone when they try to pass by. It's one of those Corsairs, you know what I mean? It's kind of funny. I was listening to uh, Red Letter Media talking about the movie um, Into the Storm, the new like hurricane tornado movie, and it kind of felt like a slasher movie, but the like the bad, the, like the monster was like the tornado. So it was like, if you go outside, the tornado is hiding in the darkness and it will kill you. So it's kind of weird. It's just so funny when they talk about that. Anyhow, uh, France are moving. With the nice counter attack is going to kill the cans. Going to try and deny the space. Uh, Bandit has moved back. Bring the Templars in first. If he's He's, no, yeah, he's, he's gonna be careful. Um, he could make some lurkers down here, but I, he, he kind of needs to rift out of there, but that's impossible because Sir doesn't have that ability. That would be crazy if Sir got rift. Look at all the Zerg and the and just rift out. Oh, that'd be crazy. They're already so mobile. Uh, so Franskar is doing a good job setting up like a defense on this choke. It's not really gonna defend this place much, but he has some. Uh, Symbolic defense here, you can add it, add more and more after a while. I actually saved the overseers. here, it's nice. My voice is starting to give in. <clears throat> this might be the last game of the day that I cast, but this is not a bad game either to send me a, a bandit so far. It's, it's actually quite interesting. So we see a bandit moving up this direction with his army. It's going to be interesting if he takes this base or this base as a fourth. Um, Right now he's not really that focused on taking a 4th base, which I think he should start thinking about, but he's rather interested in trying to deny bases from Transcar. And attacking into this position is just a bad idea. This is not where you want to attack at this point. This is where Franscar is his best defended. I want to try and maybe go around here. And Ooh, Franscar is looking to pincer down a little bit. This is not really a big force to flank with. But it's something, especially since this is very whittled down. This is almost nothing at all. Um... Yeah, I feel Bandit is in a, not in a good state anymore. He was in a good state, but now Franskar is really pulling ahead, I feel. Like, he's got one more base, and he has a really nice defensive position here. He's getting hatcheries left and right. He's, he's, he's kind of claiming, he's not just... His, his base is like, this whole area is his base, I feel like. It's not just, this is his main base, and here's his defenses. It's like, here's his everything in the same spot. Okay, that's the little flank group's gonna die. I think I think this is gonna be the fourth base, which is gonna spread band a little bit thin. It's gonna open up for another pathway or avenue. I think this base as a fourth would be interesting. It's very close to his opponent, but it's gonna like I feel this is easier to defend than this. But he hasn't taken base yet though, so I might be completely wrong. Oh, but the overseer, sir, observer, oh, the overseer, sir, sees all the zerglings with almost adrenal glands. Uh, but that doesn't matter because he's just gonna run by anyway. Ooh. Bandit's gotta be so careful. He chose to turn around. I don't know why. In the meantime, dragoons. That's a lot of them. Lots of dragoons. Yeah, they're not gonna be doing any damage there. I think Bandit is just in a big heap of trouble, to be honest. Like, he has an army that's fairly big, but I feel it's just. He misses Archons and Zealots. He doesn't have. He has Storm, but he's getting Destruction Web and Corsairs, which will be very nice. Uh, actually, I like that as an addition in the late game. It's gonna prove very. It's gonna make this army really strong, actually. And the current issue with disruption is that actually friendly units can attack in the disruption mode, while enemy units can't. And I think if it was all units could not attack in the disruption mode. And I think that's a, an issue. We're gonna have to test that. I know it's getting late. I'm talking a little bit slower. We're just gonna have to test that. We're gonna have to test that. No fourth base still from Bandit, and there's a fifth base coming in from Franskar. I think Franskar's expansion pattern is much better than Bandit's at the moment. Or the fact that he's actually expanding. Oh, losing a couple of high templars to only two zerglings. But here comes the fleet of. Oh wow, he's been building up his corsair fleet. Look at this corsair fleet popping overlords. What? That's gonna be so many dead overlords. Look at the supply stuckness of his opponent. He's only got a couple of hydras killing. Okay, he did kill a lot of corsairs with his hydras though. He's gonna need to get some. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to tell you where. Oh, he could have used. Why didn't he use the surf from earlier? Maybe he didn't have the energy for it. 
the strip from up helping quite a bit. The duration it might be a tad too long. Okay, so just look at them. I think it's 20 seconds, and I know 20 seconds doesn't sound long, especially considering how long they were in like forever, but still. In the meantime, though, Battle is gonna get an expansion now. Franska tried to deny this, but it didn't get it. I think. You know what? It is, is all those courses worth it? And I think one of the things that Franskar could perhaps do now is just unroot all these lurkers and just go and attack because a lot of the supply of the Red Bandits is, is caught up in these Corsairs that are just dead weight to his actual army as opposed to dealing with like the ground with his opponent. Yeah. I, th I think I agree with Finn here that he could have done that, but it's kind of hard to see. He's going to send in the. the. whatever it's called. Zerglings. Yeah, all these Zerglings should just kill his, kill this base at least. Oh, but in the meantime, there's a big army moving in to reinforce. Well, it depends on the storms. He got a couple of storms out of Bandit. The Bandit storms. Yeah, the horror of that many. What happened to all the... Where did they all go? And now they're gone. Where are you? There you are. Okay. So you're gonna try and defend, actually. Look at Pins oh, very nice. Archon Morph. Wow, that's a perfect. And these units are just trapped. Franskar taking yet more bases in the meantime. He's gonna make tons of spore colors. He's gonna get defilers for plague. That's gonna be really good. Helping vipers for uh, and snare would also be good. But and snare has that projectile, which makes them very hard to use versus corsairs. Also, vipers are air units, which makes them even worse to use versus corsairs because the corsairs just kill them. Um. So now bandit is in decent position. Zerglings are still there. Is there still a threat to this base? These cannons can go down really fast to crack things. And now the Dragoons are going to try and... Oh, but all the... Yes, the destruction web disabling so much stuff. Now, this doesn't really matter that friend is can attack in here because the Dragoons are shooting into the destruction web. That works in reverse as well. It's just that... Oh, nice little surround there from Bandit. From Franskar. I'm so confused. Bandit usually plays... Oh, Bandit's going to head out of there, actually. Did lose a lot of units there. Oh, it's gonna be careful. I like the spread of the spore colors. He doesn't like. I know disruption web looks like you got, but they're actually a hundred energy, so it takes a long time to re reload that much energy. Ooh, poor overseers. I feel with you. I feel with you both. Again, Zerling's gonna to try to run by. Still the same number of cannons. They could do some damage here. They should bring in the farther if possible, of course. Spine and Spore Colors incoming. Same stuff here. Yeah, he wants to be safe versus DTs at this point, because right now he's going to start massing up DTs, so he's going to start picking off cannons. This is very nice. He's not going to get all of them, but he can basically afford to do this. If he can stop Bandit's fourth base, that would be huge. Ooh, a nice little new attack with Zerglings here, but Bandit sees this with the Observer. He's going to get a high tempo. He should storm himself. Storm yourself. Storm thyself. Nope. He's going to try and get another high tempo and just head out. Man, these Corsairs are annoying. 14 Scourges incoming though, but I don't know if Scourges are going to connect with this many Corsairs and they have how much upgrade, they have plus 2 attack. It's going to be so hard to deal with. Teddy Bear's a real man, man. He's the man, man. Okay, here comes all the Scourges to see if they can do anything. Oh, wow, that's so fast. Uh, I know someone was talking about making Scourges have splash damage as an upgrade on Greater Spire. I think if we go for that, I think they should also have slightly increased health. Um, but man, Bad is just walking over the defense of France card with all this destruction. Oh, this is yet another Corsair there. He has to be careful, he's been losing many Corsairs. You see some crazy sick uh, Protoss players just keep all the Corsairs alive forever. Bad isn't the best at that. But, again, Bandit is, is, is expanding well, like he's taking the bases he wants to. Uh, but he's not really denying any bases from Franskar. He's breaking defense, he's killing a lot of overlords, but he hasn't done any real economic damage. If you look at the income tab, it's fairly similar. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna go up for Franskar now soon, because these were idle for a little bit. Wow, but he's just making so many Corsairs, and yeah, Scourges don't do anything. Yeah, look at that, Scourges didn't do anything. Nothing does anything, he needs like Devourers to deal with this, and he needs lots of And the horror of that man is Corsairs is incredible. He's like tons of Spore Colors everywhere. Or 10 Ultralisks can also just go and kill your opponent, that also works. 
Fransker has this weird poops over here. He can just go and kill the space, I feel. I really feel also Bandit should make more DTs. Like, sure, he's not going to be doing much offensively with them, but defensively, DTs would be so good now because there's no overseers that can ever make it over the map. Here comes the very fast, interesting ultra risks. They're going to just go and crash down the space. And where's the, the army's over here? I think the army should be enough to defend this. He should pull out as soon as the army gets there, but he can definitely kill off the defense. Maybe send in some units just to suicide into the Nexus. Oh, is, he's committing too far! He's going too far in! Francis is going to lose all his own ultra lists now. Yeah, he's going to like commit now. He's going to pick off his Nexus. He's a PC for PC, but he's going to lose all his army. Very, for almost nothing. I don't think that was worth it. Bad is actually max at this point. Um, but it's mostly, mostly Corsairs. Um... Of course there's only two supply, maybe we should make them three. Just so you can't get like a sick amount of late game. Wow, this is just crazy. In the meantime, Bandit is gonna push over here. Uh, and... Ooh, okay, so Franska should... Uh, it's gonna be... Hard press all this, but there's actually no observers. Kill the lurkers. Oh, here comes the defiler. Needs to be careful. Yeah, he's like that's a lot of that's a lot of lurkers. I need to head up. In the meantime, man, so many. Look at that. He's at 42 supply cap. He's going to remake so many overlords. It's insane. And he doesn't want to lose. The, oh, the defiler loses the defiler. But he's going to push back the army because they're so limited how big the army of bad it can become. Oh, look at the APM of these guys. It's not that big actually, especially from the red bandit. Fast cross more APM. Uh, just killing overlord after overlord. But this okay, now the Corsair numbers aren't going to link. I never seen Corsairs in the production tabs, so I'm just wondering how he just makes them, but I'm probably not just paying attention to that. Um, in the meantime, if someone's just attacking you, now they should just head back. Yeah. Cannot do any damage there. Again, they're just kind of they can't touch each other really. Oh, these overlords need to move down. Hey, what rogues are? There we go. Move down there. That's better. That's better. Yeah, maybe. Just responding to Teddy Bear's message here. Okay, we're gonna move out again, but now he has the army here prepared, so I don't think this is gonna do that much anymore. Yeah, it's like, oh, that's a big army. Turn around as wisely to do so. See, the problem is that Fransko can't really ever take another base. Because, of, oh, oh, plague. Does he have plague? Does he have plague? There's no plague. Oh, he could have plagued all these, all these processors. But he's going to try and deal with them just with hydrolysks. Mixing some hydros, I like that. He's going to try and take this base. It's going to be hard to defend. The army of, of bandit. The bandit of brothers. Oh, that was cheap. Uh, but bandit's going to get a base, though. And man, this game is getting long. I, maybe this was the game you wanted me to cast. I'm kind of feeling it. Oh, that's so many overseers, though. Yeah, smart casting D webs. I think that's the problem. Yeah. Anyhow, so much. Oh, wow. That's a lot of Dark Swarm. But that's. Oh, he's clumping up all these overseers. They're going to go down so fast. Nice Zergling run by in the meantime. This could actually do some damage, especially considering there's so many high Templars here. It's gonna try and run over here. Yeah, these poor rooms are trapped. But it's gonna keep the army as opponent occupied. It's gonna be able to set up the space in the meantime. Um, so why is he bringing all these overlords? That's a really bad idea. The overlords should be over here with the in the spore color haven. Oh wow, Fresco trying to take this base at the same time too. Now, the Red Bandit is going to push out now. He's going to bring the Corsairs. He's going to bring all the units. Ah, uh, what are all the Overlords doing here? And he's going to push really well, but he doesn't know about this. He doesn't know about any of the two bases that are being set up for Fresco now. Oh, he's going to the farther as well. So head back into security. Defensive lines and creep. Uh, nice. Oh wow, they disabled both of them. They only have to touch them to disable them. Um, 
so this is going to be really hard for transfer for men, I think. Um, the red banner has a nice little position right now. These storms are not the best. Franzker has a nice little one K waiting inside for him. His opponent loses uh, Ultralist there. Oh, he could keep trying to kill some person. He's going to actually crash into the army of his opponent. I don't know if this is a good idea. A lot of disruption of going down, a lot of storm, a lot of dark storm, a lot of everything. But I think Zerg spells, I mean, Proto spells are strong. No, not really. Can they fire in the disruption? Remember, I'm just being completely blind here. Yeah. I, I agree, Teddy Bear. E either the destruction mode should be like a lot shorter lasting, because there's 20 seconds now, or we should remove the smart cast. Ooh, I like this from Franscar. Oh, but it's gonna be what? The spider senses of bandits are tingling. Well, he doesn't really. See, he only sees like. Is he actually noticing this happening? This is really cool, though. I like this. Oh, he's gonna spit out everything down here. Yeah, Bannett sees this now. He does see this now. There's only... Ah, oh, there's only one Defiler. Oh, no. It's, that's unfortunate. That was such a cool plan. But it's... Yeah, he needs to get a Dark Swarm up ASAP. And it's not happening. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Really cool plan. But, oh, I'm digging this one. I'm digging this one. He's dragging the whole army over here. And he's going for a counter move over here. If he can kill the production of his opponent, that'd be really good. At this point, killing production is really big. Because hurting economy at this point is really difficult. You just kind of have to wait for things to mine out. Killing production is easier. Uh, oh, we don't want to get the lurkers too close to the cannons, good. Yeah, he's this is oh, oh wow, he's he's getting more units out down here. He's kind of going for two prong attack. Okay, this is nice. If you can get some dark swarm up here, dark swarm that's what we'll do. There we go. He's going to be protected and nice. He can bring the lurkers in here, and he could kill this. Business. There's no minerals here. There's really no point of doing this. In the meantime, Bandit is going to press this down, and he's going to kill the nice as well. But Franskar with a good economy, he's got these spaces up. He doesn't have them defended, but they're there. And this space is probably going to go down, although it doesn't matter at all. He really wants to get some Dark Swarm over here and start dealing with this. And he is getting the Zerlings he needs to do so. Look at that. He can start to eat some sort of pieces. No, no, no. Um, I can cast that Reboot Tower from Pro, but probably not tonight. Uh, because it's getting late and I wanted to do some patching stuff with the Summer Scum. Uh, but I can. I was a little bit reluctant of casting it because I don't usually like to cast games where players rage a lot unless the players are okay with it. But since you said you weren't, then I'm sure. Anyhow, we're gonna have. Um, oh wow, okay, this is. Oh, the lurkers are sitting. I mean, the, the fathers are sitting ducks. That's so unfortunate. He doesn't have plague. Because he could have plagued a lot. Or does he? Nope, no plague. He has tunneling claws, so he could have burned them and, and got him out of there, actually. There was no observers with his army, I think. Oh, there's one there. There's two there. Never mind. Oh, okay, Franskar realizing that he needs to defend this base, and that just ain't gonna happen. Not enough units to defend. Let's pull out the, yeah, let's pull out the workers, get out of there. He's gonna kill some scares, I guess. He's pulling out a couple of zealots, uh, zerglings as well. Meantime, they're crashing in here. This is gonna do a lot of damage. This ultra's gonna take so much hits, and there's no units there. Okay, he might get this base now. This is pretty big. A base for a base now is good for Franskar, I think. So, yeah. Ban is going to have to go back, he's going to have to kill a couple of overlords that's going to be donated to him. But yeah, this base is going to go down. And, oh wow, Bandit is actually expanding over here. If, if Franskar can take down that base as well, it's going to be pretty big. But he has to contend with this big army of Protoss that's over here. And, ah, oh, Protoss is going to see this base as well. That's unfortunate. Okay, now Franskar is going to lose. That's a lot of economy loss. Although, Bandit lost a lot. Bandit is broke! Bandit is completely broke. Well, so is Franskar, almost, but not completely. Franskar can easily retake this now. Uh, or not easily. But man, this is interesting. And he has some nice defenses here. These units are trapped. Well, actually, they can kill some of my Templars. But he doesn't... I don't know if he knows that his opponent is broke. Oh, he needs to be careful with the Defilers! Okay, gets off some good Dark Swarm. He needs to burrow. He needs to position. Here's, the, here's all the... Or, D-Web, here's all the storm. Uh, the opportunity is now... I don't know if Franskar can actually deal with this. Wow, Bandit is holding, but there's a lot of Zerglings that are closing in, though. And... The D-Web is gone. The D-Web doesn't really last that long, to be honest. Uh, maybe there's some other stuff we need to do about that. Anyhow... Is Bandit actually winning this one? I don't think he is. We're gonna have a relocation of tons of spore colors and lurkers. 
Oh, that, that support pillar is a little, a little bit, you know, going overboard here. This defiler doesn't have the engineers to eat some Zorglings. There we go. Nom nom nom. Gets the Dark Swarm up, but Bandit can just push further further down into the only mining bases of Franscar. Franscar really needs to take this base, but he just can't at the moment. He needs to spend all the resources on the units. And I think Franscar is going to hold this eventually. This is not enough units, I think, to kill his opponent off. Uh, oh, Franscar is broke, though. He's like he's got so much gas, and he has no minerals. Look at that. And Bandit can kill his base now, and that's it. Bandit can start distant mining. Oh, oh yeah, he can actually expand because he has a bank. A small bank, that is. Wow. I think... Okay, he needs to get these... Yeah, he needs to get these drones out of there and start distant mining over here. He really needs to do that. Because I, he's not as far behind as he thinks he is at this point. I'm sure he doesn't have anything, but his opponent really doesn't have anything either. He's got this base going. He's got a couple of units. Uh, if he can just defend over here, and he is defending over there, because there's no observers that can ever get in here. And he has a lurker. I think all the observers are dead, and he just needs to burrow this lurker, and they can start distant mining over here. This is a crazy game. I'm glad you sent me this one. I don't know which one you wanted to send, but yeah. So, France guard, burrow. Burrow! Go in, burrow! No, he's GG! What? He didn't... His opponent didn't have an observer! I, okay, I think he was pretty much dead anyway. But still... That was... I, I think he could have held on. He was starting to distant mine, right? Yeah, he was starting to distant mine with a lot of workers. He could have borrowed that lurker and held off an infinite amount of units because there were no observers. I don't know. I don't know.